sure how to explain what just happened. Um, I think first off, give uh, Coach Coach Lingle and uh, and Colby a lot of credit for coming in here with a great desire to win, a great purpose that we played with. They they executed their plan. I thought very well, um, and uh, and put themselves in a position to win a game. And fortunately, um, <laughs> give these guys credit at the end of the game with minute 20, 20 seconds, whatever it was. They they didn't quit and and found a way to to make some shots and make the right play and somehow win a, win a game. I really don't know what else to say about it. The plan was um, to uh, have Zach screen for Kimball to try to get someone to suck in on Zach and then Zach come off Nana. It's a play we run all the time. We just kind of changed up where some guys were to try to get Zach in the corner with a chance to make a decision. And they guard, they give him credit. They did a great job guarding it. Zach made the right play, threw it into Nana. They did what they've been doing all game. They came flying down to him. He gave him credit, he threw it to Steven. They came running to Steven, he threw it to Bruce. Give Bruce credit. He somehow, after getting deflected, got to Kimball, and Kimball made a shot. I mean, it was just a microcosm of at the end, and it's what you want all game. You want guys to just play together and make the right play. And, and like I said, to give the guys credit, that's what they did. It was a pressure pack situation, and they didn't they didn't panic. They just made the right play, and the result was a ball winning basket for us. Um, yeah, I mean, as Coach Davis said, he got um, Zach and Nan on the same side of the floor together, um, which is uh, good news for us. You know, that's who we want making the plays. Uh, Zach threw it in. Um, I was ready to shoot in the corner. Um, kicked it out to Steve, and I kind of saw it developing after Steve threw it to Bruce. I knew that um, I'd have to get my feet down and get ready. And then the ball actually got tipped, so um, you know it was a little awkward. Had to pick it up, but just let it fly, and uh, you know, happily it went in. Uh, it was almost just a blur, honestly. I just saw it go in, and then it, um, you know all my teammates were just in my face, which was awesome. Um, yeah, it's just a blur. Even looking back at it now, it's uh, it happened really quickly, and um, I'm just fortunate that we could get a win. Uh, yeah, I mean, at the at that point, you know, you're just playing honestly. You're not thinking too much. I mean, you shouldn't be. Um, so when we go out there, we just we went out confident. I thought all five of us were ready to take a game winning shot. Um, and when it came to me, I just let it fly. You know, no thoughts, just let it go, and hopefully it goes in. I don't know. I think it was a combination of them throwing different looks at us, but us just not running very crisp off offense. Um, we turned it all over a couple times. We weren't moving once it, once it went in the post, uh, I think. And then we just didn't get the best shot every time down like we normally do. Um, so um, I guess credit them, but we, we got to do better ourselves. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't start doing that earlier. But um, yeah, I mean, at that point, like it's just like Kimball says, it kind of kicks in where you just like, you know, you got to go. Your back's against the wall. so. Um, I knew I wasn't shoot. I know I didn't shoot very well tonight. I don't know what I shot, but it didn't feel great. So I just tried to get easy looks at the basket, and they were guarding me with smaller guys for most of the night. So I just decided to, you know, run the floor hard and then duck in and and try to get easy ones for the team. I mean that's why I love this team, and I think we all are very close knit. Um, we don't give up on each other. I mean, we we, we know we we saw some fans leaving. Colgate was saying some stuff to us, letting us know about what was about to happen. And then uh, something different happened. So that, uh, that comes from us just sticking together, um, you know, believing in one another. And I, I think every time we huddled up, we made a couple plays here. Kimmel got an and one, Nana got an and one. And we kept saying to each other, Kimmel especially was like, you know, never give up, you know, keep playing, uh, finish the game hard. So that's what we did and it worked out for us. Uh, yeah, so it was a play Coach Davis called, and it, uh, we executed it pretty well. But um, the Robertson kid on their team, he's pretty athletic. I didn't get it off very quick, so he got a hand on it. Um, after that, I just my instincts were just go get the ball and, and get a bucket. Um, <clears throat> I went and kind of got into my one-two step, and I saw Nana standing right there under the net, so I just uh, got it to him as fast as possible, obviously. Um, you know, if he's under the net, I'm giving him the ball regardless. So I saw him open real quick and just uh, gave him the ball and let him make a play, and he did. Well, certainly better to be up three with four to play than down any. Um, no, I think that uh, we, we, we actually did, I think, before we talked about where we would be for the first time all year if we won this game. Um, I'm probably never going to do that again with the way the game went until the end. But you, you come to school here because you want to play in games that matter in, in February and have a chance to advance and, and win tournament. And we put ourselves, these guys, I should say, put themselves in a position where moving forward, if, if we can uh, continue to, to work and, and get better and, and play with urgency and, and play together, we've got a chance to, to do a lot of great things down the stretch. And again, you'd much rather be three up. Is it three up now? 
three up now with four to go, then down one or up to, or whatever. So we're, we're where we want to be, but we haven't won anything yet. To be honest about it, we haven't won anything yet. We've proven that we can beat everybody. We've proven that I think everyone can beat us. So if we don't come back out here ready Wednesday night to get going, um, this win could mean almost nothing at the end of the day.